All right, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Call Loyum La Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Wahabra Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And, um, you know, basically I got up, pulled up here something very uh, heavy in the spirit. And uh, I got like a little three minutes, a three minute video here. Uh, three minute and ten second video here and um it's showing you that what the truth all right is what's ultimately spreading throughout this uh this uh this 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 planet like it says in the scriptures man okay because the lord said that the truth would go to the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come and with that you're going to have Hold on, excuse me. And with that, you're going to have <laughs> the recognition, all right, of the plight, so-called, so to speak. You know, it's going to be subliminally because what? The elites know what's coming, man, all right, according to the scriptures. They know that they're now seeing the chariots more and more, okay? So as, the, as we go deeper into the latter days, they're going to seek to... Uh, Please the poor and like the elder says, the elder uh Karab in uh camp uh the Great Millstone branch, alright? They're trying to rock Jake back to sleep, and that's what they're doing by taking down these different uh monuments and statues, man. Okay? But ultimately it through the spirit and power of Yahbashim Yahshai, we are coming into uh <laughs> the the end of an age, man, the end of Esau's world, alright, like it says in Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. We are coming into those times, all right? The Lord is uh, actually switching. <laughs> He's switching up the rulership. One rulership's going out, as it says in 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, Esau's rulership. And another is coming in, the rulership of Jacob. That's why simultaneously, while the, the age is changing through the spirit, all right, you see us waking up and coming back to who we are. And that's all biblical prophecy. But I'm going to play a little bit of this video and get some scriptures. And Lord willing, the lesson is edifying. They're about what we decide to honor. Every monument would like to be timeless. It's not a neutral thing. It's, it's loaded with emotion. The destruction of a monument, I would say, enlivens it again. They're born, they live. Uh, and and then they die, and they're they're replaced you know, by other monuments, by new ideas. So we have both emotions at the beginning, and emotions when there is a desire to challenge the reason why these monuments are there. The removal of old monuments is a sort of cleansing uh, experience. It's very much a, a, a shutting of a particular period, out ending it and starting of something new. So a new generation comes of age and is able to push for justice, for accountability for those crimes, for the removal of many of these monuments. Uh, sometimes taking down a monument is a, is, is a symbolic form of reparation to a, a group um, that has been marginalized by um, the story that is told by that monument. I think they operate as a statement of politics, statement of emotions, at that point at which a decision is made, we are commemorating something. So it's not so much that it's the statue, it is the moment that they want to memorize. At that moment, there seems to have been a need to erect them. Without the, the emotions that somebody brings to memorial, the memorial itself is, is really blank, a, bl a blank face, a blank slate. Every monument would like to be timeless. Every regime would like to be as timeless as they you know, wish their monuments were. But these monuments are built in a very particular time. You have to understand, in a place like Spain when I was born, under a military dictatorship, all of the street names, monuments, emblems, were a constant reminder of the victory of Franco's forces 
not having monuments that reflect your version of that story is one way in which your community is being broken up. So when communism fell, the first thing that you could see neglected or challenged or you know removed were actually these monuments to the uh, Red Army, the, the monuments that were supposed to signify the gratitude of the Polish nation. When that love and affection wanes, the monument you know, loses its effect, uh, loses its power. And this can happen almost overnight. All right, so there you have it. Um, that was very uh, that was heavy. All right, because what what she said was them tearing down these monuments, and I actually have um another example right here in RC News. It says statue wars come from Jesus as activist claims Christ and Virgin Mary are white supremacy, and that's the truth, man. Because in the scriptures, the Lord it is not depicted like this, man. And now what's happening? The truth is coming to the forefront. Okay, but like she said, um, bear with me one second. Like she said in this video, that these monuments being taken down is the shutting of one, one, one age. All right, so to speak, and the beginning of another, and that's scriptural, man, and that's what's actually taking place. Okay, let me get this real quick. Let's see here. This is our uh, second Ezra, chapter six. And one, it says, and he said unto me in the beginning when the earth was made before the borders of the world stood or ever the winds blew before it thundered and lightened or ever the foundations of paradise were laid before the fair flowers were seen or ever the movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together or ever the heights of the air were lifted up before the measures of the firmament were named or ever the chimneys in Zion were hot. And ere the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were that have gathered faith for a treasure. treasure. Okay. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone. And it's talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And through none other, by me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first? And the beginning of it that followeth. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And that's the times that we're living in now. And that, what she said in that uh, video, was <laughs> that was uh, that's pretty accurate because we're living in that time of a switch of powers, man. The end of one and the beginning of another, which ends, it was signified through the taking down of these monuments, man. Okay. But, um, and what's being established? All right. Mount Zion. All right. That government. Okay. Let me get a scripture real quick, which what Zion means monument. Okay. Where the new monument coming in. <laughs> you see? All right, let me get this real quick. Bear with me one second. This is um, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Both kingdoms, the southern and northern kingdom. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's, Yahweh's house, shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. So now we're beginning to go and what's developing through the spirit, the mountain or government of the most high, Yahweh Shai, all right, which consists of 
All right, Yahawashai being the head, sitting in the king's seat, King David and the elect. Okay, 144,000 out of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We're living in the, the, the changing of an age, and now we're, we're getting these articles and these sorts of uh, stories, and it's helping us through the spirit, all right, measure the times diligently in itself, like it says in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. The Lord, it, this, this reality is changing, man, because what's being brought down, these lies, all right, these images, okay, and that's scriptural, because what did this devil do? He... Painted the likeness of his images, man. Let me get that real quick. And these monuments and images are coming down, which shows you that we are at the end of his kingdom, man. Let's see. Likeness of his image. Bear with me one second. Let me grab this real quick. This is Job chapter 9. And 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And that's the times that we've been in. We The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked up until the, the end, end of that time which we're living in now. So now you're seeing the development of another kingdom coming to the forefront, which is what? Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why? Because we're coming back to who we are. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemayahashah, we are the children of Israel. Okay? That's why these lessons are going out. That's why the, there's so much chaos around the world. That's why these things are uh, coming to pass. Because we're at the end of a rulership. And these signs and these stories and the breaking of their images and the breaking of their monuments signifies that Yahweh Shemayahashah is bringing this man down. As we speak, man, each and every day, all right, prophecy is going on. But Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He, Esau, covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And that's what this uh, article is going into. Because now, <laughs> even Esau is coming to the fact that this is the white Jesus and white Mary because really, it tells you in the scriptures that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, was a dark-skinned man. Now that information is coming out, now this is being seen as white supremacy. The white image of Jesus and Mary on all these uh, uh, stained glass windows in the churches. All right, and all the, 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 the Bibles around the world, a lot of the Bibles around the world on memorabilia, uh, and antiques, all of it is a sign of white supremacy, all right, and this is a heavy article, you know, I'm going to put both of these articles, Laura willing, in the description box, but the, the image of this man is being destroyed, all right, let me get this real quick, paint, There we go. This is uh, the book of 1st Maccabees 3. First Maccabees 3 and 40. Let's see where I can start. First Maccabees 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So this goes all the way back all right, to the time of the Greeks, man. <laughs> you see? When they started to destroy our images and replace it with theirs. All the way up until today, man. Okay? During the time of the Renaissance, they, they went full force into it. Alright? How do we know that? Because they came. Let's go back real quick. They came raising images like this that now 
have became have become a problem, man. It shows you this man is finished, man. You see? So, second edges the ninth chapter lets you the the sixth chapter, excuse me, lets you know what time we're in, man. Okay. You saw you are at your <laughs> you are at your end, man, because this truth is is breaking down the strongholds, all right, and pillars in this society, the lies. You see? All through this word, man. And how about Shemiel Shah is gonna be he's gonna be good on his word as far as the physical part coming, man. There will be one second. I gotta get this scripture. Let's see here. Let's try this app. There will be strong. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 10. And 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Alright. What are some of these strongholds? These ideologies, these lies, these monuments. <laughs> the, the energy going into keeping these monuments up was a stronghold. We've pulled that down. Now the monuments are coming down. Their images are being destroyed. The Lord, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah al Shai, is bringing down their images, man. Okay? It's a beautiful time. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah al Shai, to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. And that's eventually what the world is going to develop and be changed into, all right, by the coming of the Lord, man. All right. Everything is being, <laughs> is being brought into captivity by this truth, man. You see? But I don't want to make it too long. That was uh, Laura Willen. I was edifying. Yeah, these monuments are coming down, man. This is a sign of the times, man. They want to take white Jesus down. <laughs> it says, It began with Confederate generals and quickly escalated to Columbus and former U.S. presidents. Now the monument removable, removal crusade has come for Jesus. <laughs> with racial activist Sean King inciting his depictions are racist propaganda. Yes, I think the statues of white European, the white of the white European, which is really Cesar Borgia. All right. Yes, I think the state statues of the white European, they claim, is Jesus should also come down. King tweeted on Monday. They are a form of white supremacy. Always have been. They've been listening to us and they've been they've been uh, enlightened. With the fact that the Lord was a dark-skinned man. Now the world is seeing, man. But judgment is still going to go forth. We're still in the end. All right? And this is a huge sign. They're coming for white Jesus, man. Why? Because this truth is going out to the four corners of the earth. Lord will knows edifying. Call halal, yahweh, bashem, yahweh, shai, wahabrakah, kodash. Double honors to the apostles. A great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Citations to Akim across the world pushing his word and truth. And in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Bible ball. This place is finished, man. <laughs>